Hi, it's Nicole here. Today I thought I would do a simple tutorial. Now I'm guessing that you would know who this guy is. Now I realise that there are other Hero Brian tutorials out there, but I haven't seen any that are actually a base. So yeah, I think this will be fun. At the end of the video I'll show you two different bases that I've actually done just to give you an idea of what you can do. So for a start what you want to do is actually find a hill or a mountain that you can build Hero Brian leaning against. You're going to want to actually dig a little bit out of the mountain just so that he can sit up against the hill or the cliff. So here you can see that I've actually taken the trees away and I've built the the floor of the valley a bit more evenly and then what we're going to do is just start to dig into the wall of the hill and so what you want to do is go across eight because that's how wide he is and then you're just going to start removing some of the dirt just so that you can put him you kind of want most of his back and possibly some of his head against the hill just so that it looks more natural. Now because my hill is different to what you're going to find, I can't tell you exact measurements as far as how far back that you want to place him. But yeah, you'll you'll work it out. And once you, you're happy with how far back to put him, then what you're going to do, so there's the base. And what I'm going to do is now come out 17. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then you're going to go 6 in the middle, so all up it's 8 across. So if we count across there, and that's 8 blocks. And then what you want to do is come up another 3, and 1, 2, 3, so all up that's 4 high. And then you're just going to build across. And then you're going to build back and just take it right into the back of the wall. Do the same on the other side. Then you're just going to build those in. And now what we're going to do is come in two rows either side. So do that on the other side. I wasn't sure how to do the legs. It looked wrong just being a slab that was 8 by 17 by 4 high. And so my solution was to put stairs in the middle there. And it kind of gives his legs, you know, a little more definition. So what we're going to do in the middle is just to put stairs. And that way it just looks as if he's got two legs rather than one massive one. <laughs> Yeah, which looked totally wrong. And so there you have his legs. And we are going to go back and texture it a little bit later. So now, we are going to come out one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to do that on the other side. So you're going to come out four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're just going to build that across. So that's his chest. And then you'll come from the back forward, and that should be four as well. One, two, three, and that's the fourth one. So that's his chest. And then you're going to come in and just fill in that little bit there. And then you'll just fill that space in. 
Now I've gone for stone, obviously you don't have to do that. I find that stone is just a good block, really. And maybe I overuse it a bit, but it's good for a statue, especially if you, you know, you want a stone statue. And it's also, it's not terribly hard to get. If you want to do in survival, it's not hard to, you know, to do. Okay, so you're going to also want to go around to the sides and just fill those in. You probably don't have to fully, because um, you've got to do arms as well. And they do tend to cover that a little bit. Um, but yeah, it doesn't hurt. So yeah, filling in the sides. And then you go over and do the other side. So there's his chest done. Now we're just going to do the top of his shoulders. So you're going to do three across and then you're just going to come out to the front of his chest. Same on the other side, three blocks across and coming out to the front of his chest. So for this statue I've only done his arms three by three, normally it's four by four, but they just looked too big and bulky. Um, yeah, so three by three worked well. So now you're going to come out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go across three and then bring it out. And then just fill that in. And doing that side. And then fill in the top. So that's one arm done. And then this side, so you're going to come out down one, two, three, four. Now you could leave that if you wanted to, um, but I decided just for the sake of the tutorial that I would, yeah, fill it in completely. Five, six, seven, eight, and then one more, which will be nine. Yeah, you don't necessarily have to take all those blocks away, but I just wanted to show the process for the tutorial. So there's his other arm. Now, of course, you can go around and fill the back of that as well. For his head, it's going to hang over two at the back and two at the front. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can see how it's hanging over two blocks at the front. Now yours might be slightly different. His head, you know, might you might not get to build the whole eight by eight head, depending on how far back yours is sitting. So yeah, the head is eight by eight by eight. So we're now going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you'll just go across and join them up. So we're just joining all those up. And then the back, but you may not have to do all of this. Yours, you know, the cliff might be in a different spot. So there's his head. So now it's just a matter of filling it in. side fill that in it's we're almost finished so yeah it really is a simple build then we do the front I don't worry about filling in the whole back of his head there just you know because 
it's not necessary unless you wanted to have a secret room up there or something um, yeah it's up to you just fill in his face now I'm using grey wool for his hair so you go one two three on one side go down one two three on the other side and then we're going to take off two layers and just replace that with the wool and then just for a start just going to take off one layer and replace it with the wool do the same on the back and the same on the side now I'm also doing an extra step here just underneath the layer of wool I'm doing just another layer now that reason for this will become apparent in a little while you don't have to do this either if you just want his hair to be wool you don't have to do this but I'm putting uh, some concrete powder in just to give a bit of texture and color different color so that's why I've got the um, layer underneath the wool and so we're also this is on the side of his head we're going to come down four so it's one two three four so that's two across and we'll just fill that in and then we're going to go one two three four five six and do two across as well and just fill that in and the next one is just all the way down to the bottom of his, of his head and just fill that in so that's one side then we'll go to the other side and do the same thing so go down four and across two then you're going to go down six and across two and just replace that with wool and then you go down to the bottom of his head and just replace all of that So you've done the hair. So now we're going to do his face. So go across two and cut out four. So you're one up from the bottom. And that's his mouth. Then you just go two. And that's his nose. And then just his eyes on either side. These nice white eyes there. So you can also, if you want to do the more traditional style uh, beard, uh, you can do that and I'll just show you how to do it. So just fill in that area where his mouth was. And because I've used concrete powder gravity, <laughs> bit of a pain. And then, yeah, just fill that in. I can't get past the beard I can't see it as a beard I can only see it as a stupid smile so I don't do it that way <laughs> that's my problem so yeah so now I'm just going to put in the um, concrete powder just to give a bit of variation in the color of his hair and so that's yeah you can see now why I have the layer underneath that top part otherwise it'd just fall into the center of the statue and there you have his hair now this part is really just texturing and yeah just giving a little bit more variation to the stone um, 
you know, this is up to you. You don't have to do it exactly the way I've done it. You might like to do more than I have. I tend to err on, you know, the side of less is better. Um, but yeah, that's up to you. So I've done a little bit of the mossy stone bricks, um, just thinking of where on the statue it would be mossy, you know, where water might actually sit or, you know, and then also some of the cracked ones. But yeah, that's really up to you. So I sort of do a bit of that, break up the, the bricks, fill in the arm there. And then soon we'll do the dagger and yeah, we're pretty much done. And I'll show you in a minute also, yeah, a couple of different bases that I've done. So a bit more texturing. And just change out some of those steps. There we have it. So now what we're going to do is his sort of the front of his shirt. So you're going to go across two, you're going to take out four blocks and then go down and take out two. And then we're going to use a wall. I think these are underutilized walls. They're fantastic. And yeah, just, yeah, I quite like the way that looks. And then just a little more texturing a bit more of the mossy bricks and now what we're going to do is the dagger so we're going to go back to the third block go up three and then just put the stairs and then another stair on top just so you've got a nice rounded handle and a slab at the top and this is really simple and we can change those blocks out these two just to make it look a bit more decorative then we're going to come down and go one two on the third one you're just going to get build straight down to the ground and this is really simple and I keep saying that but yeah it's really easy and then we're going to use a wall again and these are great for making, you know, a sword blade or a dagger blade. So you just do one line on one side and go around the other side and go all the way up as well. And so we've got a nice blade there. Then all we have to do is put three blocks one two three and then you're going to get stairs and put them one on either side and then a slab and there you have your nice dagger And then we're just going to swap those out. This is just, yeah, if you want to make it look a little more decorative, you just put a couple of buttons. But you might find, you know, you might want to do a different design. And there we have it. So that's the statue finished. Now you can do this if you want to. I just put some leaves on the top there. just to make it blend in better with the landscape but you may not have to do that or you might want to do something different and then I just go down onto the shoulder and put another one there And then 
just planting some trees around just yeah again to make him sit better in the landscape just to make it look like he's been there for a long time you might want to put vines as well if you like just plant a few trees around Just yeah, put another tree in there. And one more. So there you have it. So it does look better with the trees around and there's my original design. So now it's really up to you as to where you want to put the door into your base. So yeah, that's totally up to you. I came around sort of behind the dagger and yeah, put it there. So yeah, so this is the inside. So the great thing is that because he's sitting against a hill or a mountain, then you can, you know, dig that whole area out and make it huge if you want to. You're really not limited by size. You know, you can do whatever you want in the legs there. And I'll just take a few little bits away. But yeah, so you are you can do it as big as you like. And just put a door on it. So this is what I've done for the smaller base. So these are the legs of Hero Brian. So I've got sort of the crafting area here. Now I don't play a lot of survival anymore, so I'm not really as familiar with base building as you guys will be, especially if, you know, if you're a regular survival player. So you're probably going to want to do yours different. So this is just a suggestion as to what you can do. Um, you've got sort of the brewing area over here and then through to where you want to do your enchantments and a little bit of a storage area it's only very small there but there's also another storage area through here and of course there's endless room for expansion really because you're in a hill which is really good and then I've just got a, a girly bedroom. <laughs> you obviously don't have to do it like that. Um, yeah. And so that's base number one that I've done. So I quite like this one. It's nice and small, you know. But yeah, room for more. And the next one, this one is still very much not finished. So these are the leg area and yeah, so this one's considerably larger though. Um, but yeah, I don't like this one as much. So you've got a really large crafting area over here. And just a, another bedroom. This one's a little more basic. So yeah, there's a lot of work I have to do yet on this one. So I thought it'd be fun to put aquariums in, yeah, just either side. So this area is just more for storage. I've just got barrels and a handful of chests at the moment. There was also, um, when I was excavating this base. I came across a cave so I thought I'd make that more of a feature than anything. Yeah, so I kind of like doing that. Yeah, so anyway, this is it and I hope you have a go and I hope you enjoy the tutorial and good luck with it and I'll see you again soon. 
Oh, I feel now. 